Item number SCP-6482, Security Level 2, Containment Class Neutralized. Special Containment Procedures SCP-6482's remains are stored in a standard container at Site-23. Description Prior to neutralization, SCP-6482 was a humanoid entity composed of particles of hydrosalpatate, salt, and other minerals, weighing 2.7 kilograms. The particles are no longer animate and have no other apparent anomalous properties. Addendum 6482-1 Discovery On 2021, August 11th, SCP-6482 was seen by civilians coalescing on the west edge of Ocean Shores, Washington. The entity walked approximately three kilometers to Brookdale Ocean Shores, an assisted living facility located on the east side of the peninsula. On arrival, the entity proceeded to the common area of the facility. Surveillance equipment recorded SCP-6482 as it walked behind Joseph Weiss, a senior resident who appeared to be asleep in his wheelchair. SCP-6482 touched Vice on the shoulder, waking him. Vice turned to look at SCP-6482 as its particles became inert and the entity dissolved. Vice appeared confused, but after several seconds he smiled and then lost consciousness. When containment teams arrived at Brookdale Ocean Shores, Vice was deceased. An autopsy revealed that his heart had failed. Addendum 6482-2 Interview Log Interviewed Joseph Weiss's daughter, Amelia Weiss Thompson Interviewer, Dr. Maxwell Young Begin Log You say you know what happened. Please explain from the beginning. Sure, Dad had his friend he knew since they were kids, Daniel Owens. He was like family. He went to his funeral. He died just a few years ago. His family scattered his ashes on the same beach that thing appeared on. You believe it was Daniel? Yeah, and I don't think he killed him. Dad had heart disease for a while. It was just his time. Do you have any idea why it targeted your father? I think so. Dad and Dan always horsed around, even in their old age. They acted like two of the stooges around each other. Every so often, they get into this game of tag. Dad told me it was something that started when they were teenagers. Dan was it when he passed. Vice Thompson pulled a handkerchief out of her pocket and wipes tears off her face. The old bugger never could stand to lose. End log.